Hey guys, it's your girl Nosh. Happy Friday. Welcome to my collective message. Let's see what the collective has going on. So intuitively what I am picking up, because guys remember some readings I do with my tarot cards, some readings I do intuitively. I am an intuitive reader. Um, I'm also a medium, so I channel. I get intuitive messages while I channel. So, I mean, if you actually look at it, we're all vessels, right? We're all instruments that can be used for good or bad, depending on what you think is good and what you think is bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because with the, the way I look at things, I'm a very neutral being where I respect the darkness and I respect the light. Okay? So while that is being said, right, with all of that, I want to say someone is watching you like this person is watching you like fucking popcorn like you know like when there's that's it's a good movie on and you're sitting there watching popcorn and you're watching the movie but when you watch a movie you watch it in the movies uh, in, in the terms of curiosity of like what's going to happen in the next scene this person is watching to see I guess I want to say they want to see you mess up or they want to see you um like they just want to see what you're up to like what are you doing i feel like it is bothering this person that they have no idea what you're up to either you were um talking to someone about what was going on in your life and you and this person ended up um you know separating or you don't talk to this person anymore and because you don't talk to this person anymore this person used to go back and tell the person that you're watching your information so what's happening is it's like you know how you have um, a, a spy, a reporter that goes back and reports everything. I'm thinking, right, intuitively, one of the things that I'm getting in my head is that you cut off someone that was reporting back to the person that was looking at you, that was watching you secretively, that didn't want you to know that they felt a certain way about you, okay? Like, this could be something negative in a sense. Like, this person could be jealous of you. This person could be unhappy with how you left things with them, right? A lot, a lot of people need to understand that when people, everything has an expiration date. Milk isn't the only thing. Medicine is the only thing that has an expiration date everything has an expiration date even the the, the buds that that bloom on 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 tree branches on on flowers you know even flowers have an expiration trees have an expiration we have an expiration cycles have an expiration and those expirations must be faced because if you continue to prolong something that has been expired it's not going to work in your favor right you eat some medicine that's expired what's going to happen you're going to get sick it's not going to work it's not going to have that full effect right you drink milk that exp that is expired we all know what happens and how rotten that is so i want you to take that analogy and use it in life with anything that expires so when something expires, you must let it go because it's not good for you anymore. So you and this person's connection has been expired a long time ago. You finished your cycle with this person, but this person does not want to finish their cycle with you. It's kind of like they're, they're, they're stubborn in a sense where they felt like, you know, or they're feeling like that since it didn't go their way, they still want to hold on to it. And that is something what this message is talking about for all the collective. Like one, once you see something is not working for you, you must pull back. You must pull your energy back. And I see that a lot of you have been doing your return to spenders, spenders, your return to senders, and you have been calling back your energy because you've been calling back your energy from people who have been siphoning it from you, people who have been taking it from you. This person is feeling it. They're feeling the aftermath of it. This could be someone that was very codependent on your energy, extremely dependent on your energy. And now that you've pulled it back, they don't know what to do. Now, going forward for you, Collective, there's opportunities that are coming in for you that were blocked because you were in contact with this person or because this person knew your information. Um, and then you're probably thinking, like, who would want to do that? I, I, I'm Intuitively, I'm picking up on someone within your family, someone close to your family, someone that you know or knew, someone that was in your circle. It could be even a lot, you know, an ex-love interest. Um, why people do the things that we do, uh, that they do, um, I, honestly, if I find you, I'd be writing books right now, right? <laughs> I can still write books, but I'd be writing books on these motives. Like, you probably will speak to this person. This person will reach out to you. This person will say to you, hey, what's going on? 
or how are you? Be very careful within the next few days when these messages come to you or these people come to you and say to you, hey, how's it going? Where have you been? How's everything going with you? Uh, I'm good, buddy. Stay the fuck over there. You know, that, this is how you protect yourself. This is how you set your boundaries. If you have not spoken to someone in a long time, right, long time, and this person kind of resurfaces up and says, hey, what's going on? And you remember your interaction with this person not being so sweet. You know, either this person always back and gave you backhanded comments, this person was always negative, or this person always caused a riff, you know, always caused a problem or made you feel a weird way. That's that person because they're feeling it. Oh, they're feeling it like it's no tomorrow because you know what it is? They can no longer enter your energy. They can no longer access your energy. And this is what's driving them crazy. Um, they were, like I said in the beginning, they were so dependent on your energy that they thought that you wouldn't pick up on it. Little, they, little did they not know is that you are a light being. You have spirit guides and, and, and ancestors and ascended masters that are helping you through this journey. And every time someone is coming close to you that does not mean you well, they're getting rid of those people. So I would say thank you. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Thank you, guardian angels. Thank you, archangels. Thank you, source. Thank you, universe. Thank you, creator. Because you finally are in alignment. You have to understand when you're walking around sleeping, um, you know, and, and you're not in alignment with the path that you're supposed to be on, there's a lot of things that, that, that get in your energy. Like, for instance, if you know, if you know you don't wear a mask, right, you're going to pick up on a lot of germs around you, right? But, but, but you're not even aware of the germs, so you feel that you don't need to wear a mask because you're not even aware of the germs. You know what's going on, Collective? You are becoming aware, that's the beauty of this because you are becoming so aware because you are learning to vibe higher because you're cleaning out your space you're cleaning out your energy you're taking time to understand who to let into your energy and who not to let into your energy this is making you an aware individual it's making you an awoke individual and because you're waking up because you're being aware because you're being in tune with yourself and nature around you and the people around you and the energies around you you're picking up on things that are off and you're picking up on things that feel good so now that you are on this journey of going towards what feels good right and every day you're telling god or you're telling source in a sense of you know hey show me how great it can be because i know like i know like i know that life is working for me you know and it's always something you know that's it's it's like it's it's always something it's like this or something better you know what i mean i'll repeat that again source show me how great today can be i know like i know like i know that life is always working out for me and it's always this or something better and i am so grateful and i am so thankful for it because you are saying this hint hint uh that's a cue for you to say that <laughs> I'm giving you secrets, guys. You got to always listen to when I talk. There's like little secrets in there. Um, because you're saying this every day, it's a very beautiful affirmation. It's a very strong affirmation. Be careful how you use this because things tend to start working your way. And when things start to dissolve out of you, dissolve out of your life, you, you can't want to hold on to them. So some of you have been saying your affirmations. And because you've been saying your affirmations, the blocks are being removed. You know, another good affirmation is um, the person that I'm supposed to be with, that person and I no longer have any blocks between us. That's why we're meeting each other soon. We are there already. Because you're saying this, you're getting to your person. You know, you're, you're learning how to use your words now, collective. You're learning how to use your words. And because you're doing this, it is dropping off everything that no longer serves you. And within that category of being dropped off, it's this individual and more individuals. Okay? So keep it going. Um, do what you're doing because if, you know, if it's been working, keep doing it. And keep yourself protected and keep aware of the energies around you. So if you come across somebody that you have not spoken to in a long time 
or that you let go of that you felt was off, right? Like every time you spoke to this person, your energy felt like it was off afterwards or you started questioning yourself or you started getting confused after speaking with this person, step away, right? Step away or if you've already stepped away, this is the person that is trying to get your attention extremely bad. Okay, and they want to come back around. They want to be around you to know what's going on because this person's purpose is to stop you. And you're going to say, but why is this person's purpose to stop me? Because this person signed a contract with the resentment that they have in their heart to go against you. Now, once this person lets go of this resentment, you know, avoids this contract you both will be happy. You collective will automatically be happy because you already done this, right? Now, this person needs to do the same thing. Now, in order for their things to work, for them to vibe high, they also have a contract that they signed and they need to work with that contract, right? So if there was two people signed to a contract, one person has already fulfilled the contract, that being you, right? You learned your lesson. You understood what's going on. You're moving forward. This person is still trying to figure out why they resent you. Or that maybe they know why they resent you. And this is the time period. This is the cycle for them to let go of that resentment, to let go of that grudge that they had. A lot of you have grudges against individuals. And I'm going to teach you something about grudges. Grudges only hold you back. Okay, so if you're trying to call something into your life, you're trying to make things happen happen into your life. And if you have a grudge, even if it's like a little minute grudge, it will hold you back from moving forward. Because at the end of the day, the grudge is basically trying to stop you. And that's where you self-sabotage yourself. That's why I always say forgiving someone is not for that person. It's for you because you don't want to be left with the grudge in your heart or resentment in your heart. Because that will put a wedge between you and source and where you want to manifest things. You want your money to grow. You want your finances to grow. You want you want to grow as a soul. Um, you, you want your destiny to come into you. Like, you know, for your destiny to collide with you and you to get onto your destiny path, right? This little grudge or this little resentment this little judgment will become a wedge between you and that a lot of you ask why is it that some people are able to manifest so quickly because they don't hold any grudges they don't hold any resentments they don't hold any why what's who where when it's coming get it that's why things manifest so quickly once you put that wedge there like how is it coming where is it coming from when is it going to come or I don't like this person. It's not coming because of this person. It's not happening because of this situation. Like, what are you doing? You're creating a wedge. All right. So think about those wedges. Get rid of them. Just totally get rid of them and set your heart free. Clear your mind space. Clear your conscience. Clear your heart space and start from there. Start brand new from there. You can do it anytime that you want to, but you have to do it for yourself. You're not doing it for someone else. Just like this individual who keeps showing up in, in your energy or keeps showing up in your dreams or keeps trying to scare you in your dreams or keeps trying to like, you know, send you like anxiety, send it back, send it all back. And, and hopefully going forward, this person will understand what they're doing and they'll let go of that grudge and they'll set themselves free because we're not here to cause anyone harm. The collective that I'm speaking to does not cause harm to anybody. But people love to cause harm to this collective. And we're just hoping that going forward, that these people will let go of these resentments and these grudges so they can move on and be happy. Because at the end of the day, we want everyone to eat, as Tupac said. We don't care, you know, if we want everyone to eat, but you just can't sit here and eat with us. All right. I'm going to leave you with that, guys, for this beautiful Friday. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend and their Father's Day that's coming up. Um, please take a look. I've just posted a few videos. I posted Scorpio up. I posted Libra up and Virgo is up. Um, please feel free to comment, subscribe, like, and share. I love you guys. Take care. All right. Bye.